Well, good afternoon. I am at home just for a couple of days and I'm doing stuff to it. Look, look, CDs go in a big bag. Those are all CDs in there. And I'm currently taking CD thingies off the wall. I'm going to do that one next. I've just been trying to call my solicitor again, but uh, they're busy. They're going to call me back. I still don't know whether people want to buy the shelving and the cabin beds and different units. And so I don't know if I can dismantle them or not, but I need to know. Get these off then. Yesterday I had a day off and I dithered and dithered, but I wanted a day of rest. I was so tired, so I basically chilled out for most of the day and didn't get cracking on the house. But this afternoon, finally, I've come out of my ditheridge and I'm on a mission. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> You're so mischievous. You're all mischievous. Oh, it's got a, it's got a pen all over it. I wonder where that's from. Izzy's just been practicing her singing. Yeah. Aren't you? She's really enjoying it at the moment. And drawing. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm on, off you come. There we are. It's off. Yay! <sighs> It's about 10 past two in the afternoon now. I've made a little bit of progress, as you can see. The Ladybird book collection. I've got a big Ladybird book collection. Uh, that's been packed. They all uh, came from there. This shelving unit is looking a lot barer now. I'm hoping that will go in the cellar in my new place, if it happens. Do you know, at any minute it could all fall through. It's not definitely happening until the contracts have been signed. It's getting to that point now where I'm sort of on tenterhooks about anything going wrong. Oh, and I've packed the paints as well. Well, some of them. They were in that compartment by there. I've just been giving Music Magpie a little go. I'd heard of them for a while, but I hadn't got around to trying them out yet, but I just have. So I had a load of DVDs I didn't want anymore, and I scanned them in with the app, the Music Magpie app. Look, here it is. You click on that to sell DVDs, books, whatever. And it's got a barcode scanner on it. Can you see that? So let's just show you this for example. I'm actually not intending to get rid of this one, but anyway, I'll just show you for an example what it does. You scan it, where has it gone? And then it tells you how much money it will give you for it. As you can see, that was 18 pence. You're not gonna get big bucks from these guys. I reckon I would be better off selling them on Amazon or eBay. However, being not home often makes it difficult for me to do that because you know, you need to act quite quickly when you make a sale on those things, because I've done it before, and you need to kind of go to the post office in the next day or two, but if you're not at home and you can't get back, it's really awkward, and I've found that just too much of a pain. So, I don't know, I think it's kind of good for the lazy person to get rid of them quickly. What happens, you see, once you've scanned everything into your basket and you're ready to sort of check out, as it were, you have to set up an account to be able to do that, but you've got an option then, you can either take them to a drop-off point and they're everywhere, they have like a map. You put your postcode in and it comes up and they're all over the place, like, you know, usually a mile away at the furthest. Um, or you can arrange for a free courier to come and collect them and you just literally book a slot. It's like when you're booking a delivery slot, you know, but it's like a collection slot and that's completely free. So this is what I printed out from the email. So they basically say, you know, put your stuff in a box, attach the label, which is on this printout, and then they get collected. So this is the total list of things that I was getting rid of. I was going to charity shop them, you see, so I wouldn't have got anything for them otherwise. And then you get a label like this and you just stick it on. So it's easy to do, it's quick to do. A lot of the things I scanned in, there was more than that amount there that just wouldn't go through. I don't know why they weren't accepting them at this time. So it's not a way to get rid of everything. I did a little bit of Googling about how much you would get paid if you took these into, say, for instance, a cash generator shop. <clears throat> or Kex, who will buy um, old DVDs from you as well. But according to what I could see online, it seemed to be pretty comparable, except this is less hassle because they come and collect it from your door. Here's the 20 past four in the afternoon update. I am now generating another charity bag. Actually, three big bulging charity bags have already been collected today, so we're winning. It's now four past five. It's now looking like this in here. <laughs> Just when you think you've got rid of everything, you find another whole load of educational materials. What have we got here then? Stuff she's outgrown, I think. It's late in the evening now. Oh, Isabel's in a really <laughs> silly mood. We've been 
been watching very old Doctor Who's on the sofa, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. And Mummy just tickled me. Well. It was very unnecessary. Okay, sorry about that. Can I speak to my camera now? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, did I tell you I rang the solicitor up? They still don't have a date. They are still waiting for things. Go away, you're very distracting as well. <sighs> anyway, yeah, they do not have a date for us yet. Still don't know if the new tenants want the cabin beds or some of the units, so just don't know what to do. I've made a massive a uh, bit of progress today on packing but I'm not sure if I'm being a bit premature because what if it's like another month or more or what if the whole thing falls through I don't know <laughs> but I'm still cracking on anyway I've made got rid of quite a bit more stuff today to the charity shops anyway do hit that subscribe button if you would like to follow more of our adventures give the video a like if you liked it because it helps the channel to grow comment down any thoughts below i'd love to know if you're moving too and if you're experiencing the same sort of stuff as us uh, and i'll see you in the next one goodbye